Hey guys, Eog Plays here, bringing you guys another video. Today is part 175. Hope everyone is having an absolutely wonderful day. Today, I have some crazy exciting news. You guys may notice a little bit different build. And yes, guys, we finally made the switch. After procrastinating for so long, we have finally made the switch to... Oh man, I don't know. I, I'm kind of happy I did it. But I'm not as well. We've made a switch to a Shadow Clone build. We're a Shadow Clone PHOM push build. Um, that is what we did on the Compidium website. So we've spent almost all of our skill points here. We're still waiting on just getting uh, Deadly Focus up a little bit more. But yeah, this is this is our build. This is going to be our new build. I may switch it up because I know there was um, there's a uh, Shadow Clone hybrid build. There was a Shadow Clone push build. There was a Shadow Clone farming build. There was... And then after all those, then there was a fairy or a PHOM build. So there's so many different kinds of builds that I could have went with. I really like the PHOM, uh, so I stuck with that one. But I don't know if I should have went for a pushing one or a farming one. Our runs are still 20 minutes long. So that's already cutting our time by a third, which is absolutely insane. So that is really, really good right off the bat. And I'm super happy with that. But our farming runs, maybe we could have got it down to like 12 minutes. And that would have been insanely quick. Uh, for farming things like firestones and stuff like that and almost not guaranteed us a win for the firestone tournament of course or firestone event obviously but it really really would have helped us because you know on the 12 hours live stream we only got done like 10 prestiges whereas if it was 12 minutes we could have possibly got done you know 30 40 prestiges and it would have been really awesome but we're gonna go ahead and prestige here we you know we've already pushed 900 stages so far in this tournament which isn't a ton uh, but i didn't play a lot to be honest with you so we're still beating all the competition uh, there was a couple guys here this guy I was really worried about because uh, he is a big whale he's at 10,600 pet levels uh but he has 225 joints with eight wins so i wasn't too worried uh but he's bought a ton of stuff crafting power of 18 just to put that in perspective i have 3,000 pet levels and a crafting power of four uh just that helps a little bit more but we got someone else has pushed actually this may be the only person I'm worried about 4,800 pets so may possibly be a whale i can't confirm but 900 pets above me uh about seven no well six six seven hundred uh skill points above me but uh 70 joins with four wins my win percentage is actually pretty good right now we're currently sitting in an 18 percent win rate i know that's not amazing uh but we got 2900 pet levels so we're not doing too bad ourselves but we're gonna go ahead and prestige here because we've only prestige a couple times this will actually be i think this is my fourth prestige since we switched this uh, build but we're getting 14 skill points hopefully we can do another deadly focus update or upgrade uh, we got 350 raid xp and advanced rate start of 57,000, almost 500 which is awesome i'm so happy again that i joined that clan uh just because it was just because it's helping us so much with our run times you know maybe if we didn't switch our clans and we switched over to a shadow clone build maybe our run times would have been who knows it could have been 30 minutes it could have been just as long you know what i mean so i'm really glad that we switched over um you guys may need to help me out in the comments from what i've heard in the stream we basically want to activate all of these and max them all out um right off the bat i do have a decent amount of mana so that's good but we can go ahead and do some minus titan count and inactive sneak count that's awesome let's take a look here at rogue deadly focus we still can't we need 101 so we're still seven away holy moly this is requiring a lot but we're gonna go and activate everything and start pushing this build is so nice because our slowest skill the one that act runs out the quickest is Hanamitis and warcry and they last like three minutes and 20 seconds so i literally don't have to click for three minutes and 20 seconds which is just absolutely nuts um and we don't have to switch between our helmets anymore they said that sword our sword attack damage is going to be our best one there i'll take you guys through my equipment pieces we got critical damage makes a huge difference we did notice on the uh uh what's called the all damage it was making a huge huge difference here we got all gold still we haven't changed it maybe i should change it i don't want uh chesterson uh boss gold maybe but i think we're still leaning towards all gold though uh because it is the same multiplier so there's really no point in doing boss gold um excuse me for our slash this is or sorry for our aura this is really nice um you can kind of go either way but we noticed the biggest improvement going to a slash primary boost because this is where it really comes in clutch we have a mythic shadow clone damage slash which is just insane that is so so helpful so really glad we got that let's go we got a couple things we need to do today so i'm going to try to speed it up a little bit here uh so we're going to go and get power swiping we're going to go and activate that we got adrenaline rush we're going to go and activate that 
We got Doom as well. We don't even really need to use mana potions anymore, which is kind of cool. We're just always going to have some. Uh, we'll go and collect our two pets there. We'll also have to go and do our raid attacks as well here. Um, but I did want to do, I did want to take a look at the shop. So you guys may be asking, Easton or Edon, you started with over 1,200 diamonds yesterday and you're down to 175. You would be correct. We have bought so many pets. We've been buying the shop completely out every single time but we got here so we got percy pet uh or pet damage okay or oh sorry armor primary boost um we got all gold there bubbles melee hero damage slash primary boost this would be nice considering our slash is so important now and it's getting closer to 100 or level 100 uh splash damage kit we're not going to be doing that in boss damage so i think we're going to do taffy really wish we could get some tap uh tap damage pets in here we are very, very low on tap damage pets, and I really want to start buying more. Um, hopefully, for next tournament, we can buy, you know, the two pe pet damage pets for 300 each. That would be insane luck, but we're going to go and do slash primary boost, getting close to 100 and as well. Like I said, slash is really important because our slash is so freaking good. Uh, I want to I want to go and buy that. So here, let's take a look. Uh, we don't need to switch. I keep, get, I keep wanting to switch, but we don't need to. So we have pushed already a decent amount today. Like I said, about roughly about thousand stages, about 900 stages. We are doing something that I'm, I don't think I'm going to regret. So what we're doing is we're actually going to hold off on treasure hunter. I didn't think I was going to be switching to shadow clone this soon, but I really, really wanted to, and I'm glad I did. And the difference that ruthless necromancer is going to make from what you guys have said is a light, like a life changing difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to start ruthless necromancer. And we're gonna hold off on treasure hunter i know i said i want treasure hunter now because we're gonna finish some mythics or some legendary sets and things like that uh we have a better chance but honestly from talking to some of you guys in chat it just seems so random it's ridiculous uh one of the guy is just above my max stage and he's had seven mythic drops already and i'm on my second one and he does not have treasure hunter um so even with treasure hunter activated i still would not be at, at, at as good of a drop rate as he he is so we're going to skip this. This is definitely going to be the one that I do next, though, because we only need three more pieces. But we are going to be doing Ruthless Necromancer right now. We're going to go and craft our very first Ruthless Necromancer piece. And what will it be? Ooh, a Mythic Spindle Sword. So I'm hoping that this is going to be um, like an, an all damage. Really? Is I guess is what I'd be hoping for. Oh, well, I actually meant critical damage, but maybe the all damage is going to be worth it. Let's go and take a look. So we can go and sell this one because we have a better one. This is just Warcry damage as well. So this is going to be Shadow Clone damage, Warcry damage, Heavenly Strike damage as well. So this is activated, doing a lot of things there. Uh, we'll wait for our Deadly Strike to deactivate and then get all the fairies here. But I'm curious to see what our DPS is going to be here. So activate all of that. So what I'm going to be looking at is I'm going to be looking at the Shadow Clone damage. Uh, so we are at 5269 at the moment. If we switch to this all damage... We're now 5278, so that did help an absolute ton. Um, because obviously it's multiplying, as long as it's a bigger multiplier, then you're okay. Because your critical damage, if you have a higher critical damage one, then obviously you're going to be doing less critical damage. But at this point, because it's all damage, we're multiplying this number. This is the amount of critical damage we're getting. This is the amount of all hero damage we're getting. So I hope that makes sense. But uh, I mean, I didn't, I just kind of wanted to prove to you guys that it works and it's going to be better. Um... But there we go. We got an all damage mythic, which is insane. So we're already, we're four away now from getting, finishing Ruthless Necromancer. And I just can't wait. I'm really liking this build. Um, I love how, you know, AFK it is. And, you know, I only need to click really every three, three minutes and 20 seconds or three minutes, 30 seconds, which is insane. Really, really nice for when I'm streaming so I can talk to you guys and stuff. So that is always really fun. We're going to go and do some attacks here. This is actually the first ever raid that I've done with these guys. So... I do want to take a look. I'm pretty sure they've been sending out some mail. Let's take a look here. So Monka, ignore, ignore the torso, attack priority. So do the arms first, then legs, then head. Okay, that's good that they let me know. Um, so let's go here. Let's go to do our raid attack here. So let's do the arms. So we may as well finish off that one arm that they have on this side here. Let's go like this. So let's start attacking this one. We may even be able to finish this one off. We are going to have to do our head deck though. Um, and I want to do that on the head. I know they said do it at a certain priority, but if we're going to beat this Titan, we're going to have to destroy them all anyways. Um, but we'll do this one here. We'll do our limb deck as well here. And then we'll have to figure something out for our uh, torso deck. Because obviously you don't want to attack torso with uh, Monka. 
So we'll have to see what we can do there. But I'm curious to see what our damage is going to be. I think normally, so I think the nice thing is, you know, now that we're in a higher raid, we're going to get more raid XP, meaning we're going to level up quicker. So I don't think we're going to notice it right off the bat, which I didn't. 1.35, that was almost, I think that's exactly what we got on the last one. It was just above 1.3 million um, on our last, in the last raid that we were in, or the last climb that we were in. So I think we're doing okay. I think that's fine. But I think we're going to level up a lot from this. So, you know, I'm, I'm super pumped. If you guys have any tips for me, please let me know. Uh, is there something that I'm doing wrong? Is there something that I'm forgetting? Is there, you know, maybe something like the equipment piece? Maybe I should be switching back and forth. Because if we take a look, actually, 5349 at the moment. Wait, why? 5349? If we go back to there. Okay, so we are doing a little bit more. Yeah. I, I don't know why I second guess myself. Okay, so we got that. But if we switch, so now we're doing 5349. If we go to a ranged hero, 53. Wow, a lot less. Look at that. That damage is a lot less. So I guess. They were right. I am supposed to be doing a sword attack damage. We're doing the most amount of damage there, but like the, anything like that, if there's anything that you, maybe you guys are doing different than me, or maybe I should be doing, let me know. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about it, but it looks like we are doing pretty good in the clan. I don't think I showed you guys the, the tournament yet. We are about 500 stages above the guy in second place. Uh, he is in the USA. So his time zones are going to be really similar to mine. So we got six and a half hours left to go pushing. Um, I should be able to play for a decent amount of that, to be honest with you. Maybe go another thousand stages or so to kind of uh, give a big gap. But we've only really pushed 900 stages, like I said before. So I wouldn't be against pushing. But we were making fun of this guy in the stream, just if anybody's still watching the video. Um, look at this guy. So he's at 62,000 NK pet levels. This is the guy that I showed you that is an absolute whale. Look at his climb. 1,814 rate XP. We did the math and he's starting at about... An advanced stage start of roughly what was it it was 1800 uh that's with that's without noble fencer so if he had noble fencer it'd be a little bit better but 1800 and he's gonna get all the way up to 62,000. this guy is so lost i don't know what he's doing he should just get rid of his account but thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy be sure to go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe so you guys don't miss any any more daily videos. And let me know what you guys think of me switching over to a Shadow Clone build. Do you guys think it was the right idea? Should I wait for a Ruthless Necromancer? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace out.